Hey, it's Tyson, and I'm back with another Max Law Text Tips episode. And today I'm going to be talking about something that is pretty cool a new app that I discovered. I'll tell you how I discovered it in a moment. Before I get to that, though, if you have something you want me to cover, if you have questions about some tech things you want me to, to, to talk about when it comes to automation or whatever it may be, shoot me a text 314-501-9260. But let's get to this app. All right. So I was on X the other day and I was, there was this random guy. He had posted something. I couldn't even tell you what it is at this point. And then I was in the comments just looking because I was curious and it was, it was about, it was some business thing or whatever, but someone mentioned perplexity and it's an app. I was like, what the hell's perplexity? I Googled it. I figured out it was an app and it is really cool. Okay. It is th just imagine this. Okay. Just, I want you to think about the way you normally find things. Now you Google it, you then go search through 10 websites and, or you change your search term and you finally come up with the answer to the question you're looking for. Okay. Uh, it's kind of inefficient, right? I think we can agree that the Google search is fairly inefficient. Um, we want the, something a little faster. Okay. That's why I think that's why a lot of people are draw, drawn to chat GPT, Bard, things like that, because you get the answer right away. But the problem with chat GPT is the fact that it is not right a lot of the time. Okay. What's really cool about this is check this out. All right. So uh, for those of you that are watching on YouTube, this is what it looks like. Okay. Perplexity. And it's, it says where knowledge begins. Okay. So ask anything is what it says. And it does give you actually some, some things that are new, um, that are like suggestions that you could, uh, just push the button. It'll, it'll take you right to it. Tips to write an ATS friendly resume. I don't know what ATS means. Um, how to create a nineties yearbook photo using AI. Uh, pretty cool, but we're not going to do that when we're going to pick something different. Uh, we're going to pick something that is, uh, related to, uh, something might affect you and something I covered recently on the podcast. So check this out and you can actually speak into it too. So it's going to be faster. I turned on copilot. I don't necessarily know what copilot does. Um, it seems to uh, maybe organize the data a little bit better, but here's what we're going to do. How do I speed up my website? Okay. I hit submit and what it does. And here's, what's really cool. So you can see it's understanding the question. So it says it's organizing the sources and here's how it's different from jet chat GPT and from Google. Okay. It gives you the answer. Okay. So here's some things. Um, optimize your images. I talked about that in another episode. Um, something I did not, cause I just didn't want to get into, um, too much of the complexity. Use a content delivery network. I didn't cover, cover that, but I did, I did cover leverage browser caching, evaluate your hosting provider, Use a, a reduce HTTP request, use a caching plugin. So these are things I covered, right? But here's what's cool. The best part of this, it gives you the sources right there. Sources are right there. I know every spot or every one of these came from. Okay. So I've got one, two, three, four, five. It gives me actually 25 sources that it pulled this information from. I have all of it right there in front of me, it took seconds to do. Okay. Um, and I can, I can easily just delete this and it gives me my history, but, and let's say that I want to click on that source to check it. Guess what you can do? Boom. It does it. This one, it gives me a, a, uh, looks like a, uh, panda bear. Um, but there's a, it, it's, it's the image on the website, but you can click on each one of these. So I click on the different ones. It takes me to the website. I can read that article if I want to. So it actually gives me the site, the site, and I can easily verify it. And if I, if, if I don't think it's a good, good source, I don't, I don't use it, but it gives me 25 different ones. Um, something I've not used it for is legal research. So what we can do is together, we can test this out now and see, uh, what happens. Okay. So. Here we go. I'll use it for like a, a basic one. Um, what are the statute of limitations for a car crash personal injury case in the state of Missouri? I made it fairly complicated. 
Uh, I'm clicking submit. Okay. And so it's understanding the question. It says Copilot completed five steps. I, again, I don't know what it, it apparently it does something additional. Um, it also said I only have two Copilot searches left. So that means that um, they're probably going to try to charge me for whatever that feature is. And let's see how good of a job it did in the state of Missouri. In the state of Missouri, the statute of limitations for filing a personal injury claim related to a car accident is five years from the date of the accident. Very good. It got that correct. And it gives me the, it gives me eight sources. Okay. What's really interesting is that these are every single one of them. This is what's interesting are, um, law firm websites. Uh, not one of them is the revised statutes of the state of Missouri, um, which I find is interesting, but it did get the correct answer. It seems like it's compiling, compiling all this data or all this information and it's getting the answer. Uh, and I think that that is way more helpful than a standard Google search, uh, Google search. Um, and so it does not appear it's going to do, you know, major legal research for us, but it is something that is going to, it'll simplify our lives and, and do faster searches for us. And it gives you the sources too. So, uh, I, I hope that you will get some, some use out of this. I think it's, I think it's a cool one. I think it's a useful one. And I, I, I think you will find the same, but let's wrap things up. If you have any topics, as always, you want me to cover, or if you just want to say hi, shoot me a text, 314-501-9260. Love, love to hear from you. Until next week, remember that consistent action is the blueprint that turns your goals into reality. Take care.